We begin, though, tonight with some concerned parents getting answers about Pfizer's COVID vaccine for children. State's new chief medical officer, Dr. Alexis Travis, moderated a Facebook town hall tonight. Let's bring in Jason Colthorpe live at the Oakland County Health Department to break down what was discussed. Jason. Yeah, uh, well, Karen and Devin, like you said, now that that vaccine has gotten emergency use approval for kids ages 5 to 15, parents have a million questions, naturally. Well, this brought in three doctors that specialize in pediatric medicine to try and answer as many as those of those questions as they could. The state's new top doc, virtually flanked by three other doctors, tackled the hot button issues specific to kids and the COVID vaccine. That children are generally at a lower risk of severe COVID disease, hospitalization, and death compared to adults. Um, however, the risk is certainly not zero. And In the Facebook said, town hall, the panel answered several key questions, like what if kids have already gotten COVID? Even if children have gotten COVID in the past, they should still get the vaccine. Uh, it doesn't mean that they have any antibodies left in their system. What about possible allergic reactions? As with anything new that we put into our bodies, there's always the potential of an allergic reaction, um, but we really aren't seeing a significant amount of uh, what's called anaphylaxis or a severe allergic reaction to the COVID vaccine. Do we know enough about the vaccine's long-term effects? There's no scientific reason to think that there would be the possibility of long-term side effects. Because if you understand how the vaccine works, then you'd understand that but the, the possibility of long-term side effects is basically nil. Separately tonight, the CDC director weighed in and is encouraged by the number of students who remain in school in high transmission areas. Things should ease further as more kids get vaccinated, but she was asked whether kids should still mask up in school after being vaccinated. And I would say masks are for now, but we they are not forever. We're certainly going to hear more about masks. You can bet on that. Now, uh, by the way, we just scratched the surface of that town hall. Those answers you just heard were given in much greater detail. Plus, the doctors went into other uh, conditions that have affected kids like Miss C and myocarditis and give uh, talk about that in detail as well as a parent. I would strongly encourage you to go listen to it for yourself. It's on the Facebook page of the MDHHS uh, homepage there. Devin. It's hard to cover everything that parents are asking and are interested in right now. They talked about a lot of things tonight, including trust issues with doctors, Jason. They did. As a matter of fact, that's interesting because in some cases we've heard about how people have, are suddenly losing trust in doctors and we don't know why. Well, they, they talked about that and, and a doctor put it pretty simply saying, you know, if you're trust, if you're trusting us to treat you for everything else, uh, including writing prescriptions for drugs that you're willing to put yeah. in your body, you should yeah. trust us on this and what comes with COVID and the vaccine because the intentions are the same. Devin. Yeah. All right, Jason, I mentioned all the questions that have been coming in. We know because our Dr. Frank George has been doing it uh, constantly. Viewer questions coming in still about the vaccines and about COVID. You can find all of his reports on the health page at clickondetroit.com.